Republican senator fine with fascism. Sunday on ABC News, J.D. Vance, the Yale-educated hedge fund manager turned Republican senator from Ohio, still insisted there was evidence of voter fraud in 2020, even though 60 lawsuits filed by Republicans couldn't prove even so much as a shred of evidence that there was voter fraud. Even Donald Trump's head of Homeland Security's Election Integrity Office, Chris Krebs, called the 2020 presidential election the cleanest in American history. While Trump was screaming election fraud the day after he lost, Chris Krebs issued a statement from Homeland Security saying, quote, there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. So Trump fired him immediately. But Senator J.D. Vance, who is auditioning for the role of Trump's vice president, on Sunday told ABC News that if he, instead of Mike Pence, had been presiding over Congress on January 6, he, J.D. Vance, would have permitted competing slates of electors. In other words, J.D. Vance said he would have endorsed the false elector scheme. Then, Senator J.D. Vance said, as president, Trump would be free to ignore what he called illegitimate Supreme Court decisions. And this is not the first time J.D. Vance has suggested this. Senator J.D. Vance was interviewed two years ago, and he said that when Trump is brought back to the White House, he should, quote, fire every single mid-level bureaucrat, every civil servant in the administrative state, and replace them with, quote, unquote, our people. And then, right after he said that, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance admitted that our Supreme Court would rule against Trump doing something like this. So J.D. Vance said he would advise Trump to take a playbook page from Trump's favorite president, Andrew Jackson, who famously told the Supreme Court when it ruled against him, quote, the chief justice has made his ruling, now let him enforce it. J.D. Vance is saying, I would tell Trump to do what Andrew Jackson did, and that is defy the Supreme Court. Now, what Senator J.D. Vance, Yale, left out about that quote is, nobody's really sure Andrew Jackson ever really said that. But he is reported to have said this to Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, John Marshall, after the court ruled against President Jackson's trail of tears. The Supreme Court ruled against Andrew Jackson and the state of Georgia uprooting the Cherokee people by force and marching them to Oklahoma, the Trail of Tears, genocide of the Cherokee people. So that is who J.D. Vance was celebrating when he talked about Andrew Jackson. That's what he was celebrating. He was celebrating Trump's favorite president. He was celebrating a quote from Trump's favorite president that endorsed genocide, literal, literal genocide. Andrew Jackson defying a court order and allowing the Cherokee people to be taken off their land. It's incredible that, that somebody would celebrate Andrew Jackson telling the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, you made your ruling, now go enforce it. I'm going to commit ethnic cleansing. Andrew Jackson's Indian Removal Act, signed in 1830, lasted 20 years. It was federally sanctioned ethnic cleansing and genocide. And that's what J.D. Vance is celebrating. Andrew Jackson, genocide. Andrew Jackson, Donald Trump's favorite president. That's what a Yale education teaches you. 